Welcome to the Talking Diaries podcast, featuring Dr. Louis Coster with John Kramer. You, you said an interesting thing. Uh, after uh, the holidays, you returned to your practice and you began hearing the patients talk about all the things they did over the holidays, uh, who they saw, with whom they spoke, etc. But all those experiences are now gone. Of those experiences, then what seems to be the one constant is what we call I. And then you ask, but is it? And I think what you say is that it's not really the I that's uh, having, you know, the I that's the experiencer that's having these experiences. It's simply the I that is aware that the experiences are occurring. Would that be a way of saying it or not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in what you just read, I, I, I wrote that when, when I had the experience that when someone shares a story, like, of course, when you come back from a holiday, it's like, oh, what did you do? And then so the person shares their story of what they did and, and what happened and it all so my observation was like looking at how I experience when they tell their story, the way often the story is told is, is as if it is an actual happening. Like it's, it's so real when they tell the story, but it's not. And the person who is telling the story is telling the story as if it is an actual, well, reality, but it's whatever was there is no longer so it just brought about my curiosity like what is it about us human beings when we tell a story that makes it so real while in fact it is just a memory that we bring to life in a conversation and and so the common denominator so to speak is the i in the story that we identify with. That is what gives it reality. And yeah, so <laughs> that is what I was inquiring into, like how how real is this I? In your diary, you said that the I is just imaginary, that in every experience there is duality, but experience is distinct from being. So I can see how you were taking that experience of hearing all these stories of the holidays and going, but all of that has no real relevance because it's all transient and, uh, you know, duality. And the I that they're talking about is not the I that you talk about when you talk about experiencing being. Yes, yes. So the moment that, that you identify yourself with the I in the story or the self that gets created in the thinking, then that becomes your reality. And, and not, not necessarily being aware that there is a bigger reality available, so to speak, that points to your true self. And the self in the story is made up. It is imaginary. It's not your true self. Although some people might experience it as if it is they're, you know, they're sharing themselves, but it's just a story. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster. For more information, check out louiscoster.com forward slash Talking Diaries, and subscribe to the Talking Diaries YouTube channel. Also check out louiscoster.com forward slash quiz and take the free quiz to discover more about yourself.